Welcome design students. In this video we're going to continue working on our Fantasy House game asset and we're going to create a custom collision mesh so that our character can interact in more detail with the house. As you can see here I've imported the crash dummy character from Unreal Engine. She's standing right here and I've used this character sort of as a prop to judge the scale of my house. I had to scale it up considerably. If you look right here you will see the original grid and my house was sitting right in the middle of it so it's very, it's a lot bigger than it was and I scaled it up based on this character. So as you can see here I've opened up my Unreal level where I have uh, imported my house and we'll talk about how to do that later but I wanted to demonstrate to you what happens when you don't have a proper collision mesh. If you look here you'll see also that I have my player start icon here and it has um, an error here bad size. Now if you look closely you'll see that it is overlapping both the stairs and the ground plane. So if I move it away from the stairs and move it up out of the ground plane I should lose that error. So if you ever see that you'll know why it happens. Also see this arrow here is which way the player is going to face when the game starts. I'm going to go ahead and rotate that so that I'm looking at the house. Okay, so let's go ahead and play, and I'll show you what happens. So here's the player, and if you watch, he can't, well, actually, he can walk through there, but he can also walk right through the house. That's because I removed all collision from the house. Now, before, if I didn't remove all the collision, what would happen is he just would bounce around the house, and he wouldn't be able to walk through that area here, or any other area. He wouldn't be able to go up the stairs. He's not going to go in the house anyway, but I would like him to be able to go through here and maybe hop up on this bench and go up the stairs and look around at the very least. So in order for that to happen, we have to create what's called a custom collision mesh. And we do that in Maya. So back here in Maya, what I need to do is I need to create basically very simplified geometry that sort of surrounds the areas that I want him to collide with. And here is the collision mesh that I created. And I'll just talk you through how I did that. I'm going to go ahead and show everything. Or I'll show the selection. And you can see here that I've created this sort of simplified mesh. that surrounds the shed roof and the bench and the posts here and the walls of the house and the outhouse and the stairs and you can see I've got just some very simple boxes here that are surrounding the stair railings and what I did was I just basically copied this part of the house I copied this part of the outhouse I copied the stairs and I just scaled them up just a bit so they were slightly bigger than the uh, mesh that I copied them from. And then I created boxes that I surrounded the uh, banisters with. And I created a box that I surrounded the roof with. And I created boxes for the posts. And I created a box to surround the bench with. And then I selected them all and I went to Mesh Combine. And then I renamed it Collision Mesh. Now I would like to have all of this stuff in a separate file without my house. So what I'm going to do is export it. So I'm going to select the collision mesh object. I'm going to go to File, Export, Selection. I'm going to name this Collision Mesh 01 and I'm going to export it as an FBX and we're going to leave it in the Project Scenes folder and click Export Selection. Now if I wanted him to collide with uh, the house in more detail, I would also create collision boxes for these two objects. But I didn't do that for this one. So I now have in my House's Scenes folder, I have my collision mesh as an FBX, which I can then import into Unreal Engine and apply as a collision mesh to my house. And I'll show you how to do that in the next video. And I'll see you then.